So you've done a bit of work, you've created a file, you've got it looking just great. Perhaps you ought to save the workbook at this stage. It might even be worth suggesting that you save the workbook at an earlier stage than having the file finished so that you know you've got it and nothing is lost. So to save the file, we can use a number of methods. We could take our mouse and use the save icon from the quick access toolbar. If the save icon is not there, this little arrow here will allow you to pick it. So if I choose now, it gets removed. If I then go back and choose save, the icon appears. So I have the save disk. Or I can choose file and save. Or I can use control S on the keyboard. Now, any one of those methods will save the file. If it already has a name, it just tops up the save within the same file name. If the file has not been saved at all yet, so therefore doesn't have a name, when you go for the save option, so if we do control S now, the save dialog box will pop up to give your file a name. Now it's defaulted to the document area. Now the document area will depend on your operating system. Using Windows 7, it wants to go into libraries, documents, and then we need to give our file a name and then save. Now there are other times when you want to save a file, but you want to save it with a different name. That's not just saving the file, that's saving as. And we can do save as. Now we can't use the icon here for that. We can use file, save as. And that will bring up the save as dialog box that will allow you to give the file a different name or save it in a different location. We can also activate the save as dialog box by pressing F12 on the keyboard. So if we want to take our file, which is currently called sample data, and choose save as, the box pops up and I can give it a new name sample data, new file, and then save. And now I'm working on that new file. You can see at the top in the title bar, the file you're always working on. So you know you're working on the saved as copy. And saving there from now on will only save into this new file name. So you can save using control S, the save disk or file save. You can save as using file save as or F12 on the keyboard. Saving as allows you to give the file a new name save it into a new location. Save just tops up the changes that you've made to that current file since you last opened it.